Going on to two hoops. You're going to pick up your second hoop. Remember, pick up the hoop with your feet now. And from here, what we're going to do is just kind of take the hoop, stop it, lift up the right leg, pop the hoop under there, and it's locked. It's interlocked. This hoop is not going to drop down now. Okay? It's interlocking there. So, showing you different angles of it. All right, so from here, you can take the other hoop, bring them down, and just step your leg out, and there you go. All right, so you got two hoops in the leg. Turn, turn. All right, now, as you're practicing with these two hoops, keep this in mind. I'm going to show you a trick because when it comes to three, you're going to really notice this. You're going to, you're going to use this magic trick. Take one foot out, take the hoop, bring it over and put it through your body. Bring it down. It's going to kind of stop on the hoop. Just push it through the hoop and catches on this foot, on your left foot. Lift up your left foot and just bring your legs apart and it's there. Now, do the same thing with the left hoop. Bring it down to the body, catch it there, push it through there. When you're pushing it through there, you can even pull too. So it kind of does, it helps out, okay? Lift up your right foot so you're right there, okay? Try this again, right side. And before it even gets to your foot, let's go to the left. Before it even gets to your foot, as you're lifting up, as you're pulling and pushing this down through, you can just lift your leg up. Always keep the hoop that you have in your legs, okay? This is important. Keep it there. So when it comes through, you're just lifting up your left foot. You didn't pull your, you didn't pull this up through like that, okay? You must keep these right here. So right to the left. Left comes out of the, left hoop comes out of the left foot. Push through, catches, okay? All right. A little bit more magic here. Bring these hoops together like this. I like said, so what I'm showing to you with two, it's going to apply to three hoops. Very, very important. So you get this hole coming through here. Put your body through there. Pull it apart. Bring your body through there again. All right. Let's take our feet out of there, okay? All right, so we have our hoops out. Can spin, spin. Now, some people have been known to add a, add a figure eight twirl to their hoops, like this. Now, if you're familiar with stick fighting in our niece, Filipino stick fighting style, or whatever stick fighting, just in general for the martial artists. Treat these, these hoops as sticks. So this is your stick fine. So then the twirl becomes, watch on this knife. It's a trail. It's not a figure eight like this. Some people will do this like that. And they'll get going fast. But I like to kind of do a stick fighting method. A twirl. Okay? From here, you want to bring it in to start interlocking your hoop. So you get, get a feel of it when you get to three. Okay? From here, you've done the twirl. Now, let's put the hoop between the body so you can jump into it real quick, like this. Or you feel comfortable going like this. So from here, you just came out of the twirl. Put a hoop in there. Okay, now hold this like this. Okay, let me come closer so you can see this. So it looks like that. You're holding like this. Now have the thumb right here. Okay? So, right from here you see this. There's these four fingers holding that and the thumb on top like this. Okay? And this one over here is just kind of right there. Okay? So from here, 
the thumb is pushing this down. Now, you put the hoop over your head, catch it, or put it behind. So then you let go of this and so it's interlocked, okay? And it's interlocked. Come back here with the, the thumb right there and the fingers right here. Now watch this. You push this slowly and as the thumb pushes it around, you take your fingers and you pull. So you have an interlock, just like that, okay? So that's how you interlock a hoop to other hoops. It's the same thing you'll do over here, okay? So let's do the switch. So even if you're right hand or left hand, you should be able to do the interlock. Put the hoop behind the head right here, arm coming close so you can see it. Remember the thumb is only holding, pushing the one right here. The hoop should be on the outside too, not the inside. Okay? Not like this. Not on the inside. You're not going to be able to do this. Okay? Hoops on the outside. Thumb. On the outside of this one. Okay? The thumb is pushing this just like that. And it's lifting up the hoop. Okay? When it brings it back, you notice that. It comes right here. This is where you just bring your hands on the outside, let go of that, and voila. Okay? So let's demonstrate that how that goes. Again, from further back. See this? So you're like this. And just do the switch. Voila. And once you have that, you can just kind of turn around. Now, people when they're doing their poses, they're doing their things, they kind of you know, They'll spin forward or backwards. I like to spin backwards. I feel like you're kind of letting the wind flow past you. <laughs> so, turn. Once again, you're doing this. We're doing a demonstration on this side. Okay. Pop that up. Do the switch. Okay. Just kind of do some turning. Okay. All right. People will come out of that and hold that.